Okay, to remove color cast, the first thing you have to do is add a new hue and saturation layer. And uh, I do this through my actions pane. You can do it through uh, layer, new adjustment layer, and hue saturation. But I set up a um, action to because uh, it's a common thing that I do, and I don't want to have to go through the menu every time. Um, so what you want to do is double click this little icon, this thumbnail icon, and you can either click this button here, which brings up an eyedropper that lets you select any color, or you can select this drop down menu and select uh, which group of colors you want to affect. So let's zoom in here and let me show you an example. So if I want to take out this green, if I take this, uh, click this button here and select a green and hold down after I click hold down that selection and you can see the arrow turns into a hand with two arrows if you drag to the left that desaturates if you drag to the right that saturates so it looks like I selected I didn't quite get the green selection so let me try that again so if I zoom in and I select this and try it. See that kind of affects that, but I still am not getting it perfect. So let's let's see. Maybe if we select this. See how it kind of seems to only really mostly affect the green, but that's still not a perfect example. Um, if we go here, see that that it affects the yellows and it will automatically select yellows once you use that eyedropper so see how that only kind of affects the yellows in the image so in this case whoops, in this case the yellows are the problem so let's exit out of this so if we zoom out you can tell there's kind of a yellow cast all over the image so let's do that same process and just select the yellow drop down and desaturate it a bit until you kind of see where you want it on the walls here where where you want that color cast taken out of this painting or this sculpture so you kind of move the sliders until you get to where you want and then this is a mask so if you hit command shift i or I'm sorry command i that will invert the mask and then selecting B to select your brush and then control and option at the same time and then click and drag to the left and right to resize your brush and then uh, down here you want to make sure your uh, view uh, white is reveal black is hide so you want to make sure that your brush is white and then up here under opacity and flow I use this airbrush style so just click this airbrush button leave the opacity at 100 and change the flow uh, I use something like 10 change the flow to 10 and then hit enter and then you can kind of brush in that effect where you want it so see how it's kind of going away you can kind of brush it in like up here on the ceiling over on those paintings and I'll get to these paintings here in a second but just kind of brush it out of the wall and then resize your brush by hitting control option and clicking and dragging to kind of get in there in that little area and if you want to see where your mask is you just hit the backslash button and that will reveal your mask so if you paint more away the less red there is that means it's completely hidden or the more hidden it is so you can use that and then hit backslash again to hide that so if you zoom in I took all the yellows out of these paintings but these paintings are supposed to be yellow so if I hit my brush I used control option to resize my brush and then I hit X down here in the corner to switch my brush from white to black and then I just want to paint some of that yellow back in on the painting the color that it's supposed to be same with this one paint some of that yellow back in there we go 
and you can uh, hide this layer and see your before and after. So you can see right there, that is a huge difference. That wall is supposed to be white or some cream color, not yellow. Uh, 